Today, we'll be talking about the stability of the DIOS 2. Most of the settings we'll be looking at can be adapted to the DIOS 1 or Oryx. It's important to have a stable detector. On the one hand, for the comfort of detection, as it's better to have a silent detector, but also to avoid being distracted by false signals, which could cause us to miss a faint sound. On the other hand, don't go overboard. A detector that is too stable will limit the device's performance, so we look for the limit of instability. This limit is specific to each individual. Some will accept a chattery detector, while others will prefer a quieter device. So what is an unstable device? It's a device with false signals. It emits sounds that do not come from a target. Stability can be due to three main factors. A poor adjustment on your part, an external element, or the ground. There are two adjustments you should always make at the start of your outing. They influence the stability of your machine. The automatic frequency scan and the ground effects adjustment. In most cases, these two settings will limit instability problems. We'll talk about them in more detail, but remember that it's important to perform them as soon as you switch on your machine. Be sure to sweep the coil parallel to the ground and avoid bumping it. One of the classic causes of instability is therefore a wrong setting on your part. The Deus the 2 is fully customizable, allowing you to adapt your device to your detecting site. Conversely, if you make the wrong settings, it can become totally unstable. So, when starting out in a new field, I advise you to start with a factory program. I'll tell you more about choosing a factory program later. In any case, if your personal program becomes unstable, I advise you to try with the factory program that corresponds to it. You'll soon see if the problem is due to a personal setting. If the device is unstable with the sensitive or general factory program, it's probably due to an external element or the ground. Lift your coil and see if the device is still unstable. So obviously it's due to those power lines right above me. In this case, the detector is always unstable. So we're dealing with an external element that interferes with the device. This is often due to electromagnetic interference, EMI. These can be caused by various external elements, such as power lines, an electric fence, a cable for robotic mowers, other metal detectors in the vicinity, or a pinpointer of another brand. Of course, no problem with XP, MI6 or MI4 pinpointers. False signals can also be caused by indoor Wi-Fi networks, electronics, wireless devices, electric motors, and so on. Of course, there's no problem using GoTerrain on your phone. By the way, I use it on most of my outings. It allows me to avoid returning to the same place the next time or to find my way back to a location on a new permission. I also like to rename my activities with the program and my settings so I can reuse them if they've been effective or experiment with other settings in the same area. Back to interference. What are the solutions? The first is obvious, but not always feasible. It consists in eliminating the source of the interference. Momentarily turn off the electric fence with the owner's permission or move away from it. Turn off the wireless device that's causing the problem, like that microphone, or avoid using your detector indoors. But all this isn't always possible. In that case, there are a few settings that can improve the Deus 2 stability. The first is frequency shift, either automatically with the scan function or manually. I like to use the automatic scan, which is very efficient and quick to perform. Simply press and hold the ground button in the top right hand corner of your remote control or the minus button on the WS6 master. The device automatically selects the frequency with the least interference. Let's do a test. I'm standing under high voltage power lines. The area is really extreme in terms of EMI, but we'll see that the automatic frequency scan setting works wonders. I'm in the sensitive program and we see that the device is totally unstable. I run an automatic frequency scan. The scan is in progress. It's finished. We now have a totally stable device. No more instability, no more problems. It's very easy to detect. I advise you to use this function every time you change frequency or program. This function can be found in Option, then Settings, Frequency Scan, and simply set to Automatic. You can also change the frequency shift manually. Go to the menu, then Frequency, Shift, and you can now shift the frequency or run the scan once again. 
Now let's shift the frequency manually and see how this affects the stability of the device. So I'm at 4, I'll go down to 3. No problem, the device remains stable. 2, we find some instabilities. 1. At 1, the device is stable. And 0. Once again, there are instabilities. The frequency shift setting is therefore very effective, even in extremely interfered areas. If you still perceive interference, try using another maximum frequency and scan again. For this test, we're indoors. These are very complicated conditions for metal detectors. Indeed, there's a lot of electronics, Wi-Fi networks and the like here. So possibly a lot of EMI. We're going to try different frequency max settings to see if some of these are more problematic than others. We'll start with a frequency max of 14 kHz. Right now, I'm at the maximum frequency of 14 kHz. Let's do a frequency scan. The scan is complete. You can see that it's already much better, but there's still a bit of interference. Let's try the maximum frequency of 24 kHz. There's still some interference. Let's try the maximum frequency of 40 kHz. The scan is complete and as you can see, no more interference. In this situation, the max frequency setting of 40 kHz gives the best results. So, if the frequency shift isn't enough, you can change the frequency max setting to find the range with the least noise. Don't forget that changing the frequency max also has an impact. Lower frequency ranges are generally better for deep searches, for good sized targets on clean ground. Alternatively, High frequency ranges are more sensitive to small low conducting targets on polluted or mineralized ground. There's another solution, often overlooked, but one of the most effective ways of countering EMI. Use program 7 mono. Indeed, the FMF multifrequency has a lot of advantages in every respect, even when it comes to the overall stability of the device. But when it comes to electromagnetic interference, single frequency is very interesting. We're back in my office now. I think that when it comes to EMI, you can't really do much better. We're in a small room, and I've got a lot of electronics all around me. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and other networks. So we're going to have a device that's totally unstable. Let's start by looking at the stability of the different multi-frequency ranges. Right now, I'm at the maximum frequency of 40 kHz, and I've run an automatic scan. You can see that the device is unstable. I'm now at 24 kHz with the automatic scan performed. The device is still unstable. I'm now at the maximum frequency of 14 kHz, so the device is still unstable. Now let's try the program 7, single frequency. I start at frequency 40 kHz and have also performed a frequency scan. As you can see, the device is totally stable. Moving down in frequency, we'll try 25 kHz. The device is fairly stable, but a few false signals remain. At 14 kHz, the device is stable, although one or two small sounds persist. At 4 kHz, the device is again unstable. This proves that in areas of extreme interference, it's easier to find stable frequencies with a single frequency. Multi-frequency, as the name suggests, uses several frequencies, so there's more chance of one of them being interfered with. With mono, only one frequency is used. All you have to do is find the least noisy frequency and scan it. The mono program remains extremely powerful. It works in the same way as the Deus 1, while benefiting from the new technologies of the Deus 2. In the mono program, don't forget to set the ground balance if the ground is mineralized, otherwise set it between 88 and 90 to reject all ground. There's another well-known setting for device stability, it's called sensitivity. I'm only mentioning this now because it has a counterpart, unlike frequency shifts and modifications, which have less impact on the device's performance. In fact, to stabilize the detector, you can reduce sensitivity. The trade-off is a loss of detection depth. In some cases, we have no other solution. I'm thinking, for example, of searches indoors, in areas where there is a lot of interference or close to an electric fence. We therefore lower sensitivity to the point of stability. I'm right next to the fence. Let's see how it looks in original sensitive. We have recurring false signals with a fairly regular interval. This is characteristic of an electric fence. Now let's try lowering the sensitivity. We're really close to the fence, so I had to lower the sensitivity to 60 to stop hearing EMI. Unfortunately, this also means a loss of performance and detection depth. 
If you still decide to detect despite the EMI, I recommend increasing the reactivity setting. The device will then work faster and you'll be more likely to hear a good sound just after a false signal. To sum up, an unstable detector can be caused by an external element or electromagnetic interference. In this case, if possible, stop the source of the interference. Alternatively, perform a frequency scan. You can also try changing the frequency or switching to a mono program. And the final solution is to lower the sensitivity of the device. That's it for the causes of instability due to external factors. In the next video, we'll talk about the ground. In some cases, the ground can also be a cause of instability. I hope this video has enabled you to learn a little more about the stability of your XP device. If you liked it, like and subscribe to be informed of future publications. You can also let us know what you think in the comments. Good detection to all, and see you soon.